everything starts and ends with the patient. So patients come to us with symptoms and we have to listen and try to figure out what is really bothering the patient, what difference can we make in their lives, how do we make it better. And then we start digging for more clues and more information to get to the diagnosis. We currently are involved in a lot of um, studies with devices, including defibrillators, but also more on the catheter ablation side for arrhythmias. So um, patients are offered and informed about these various studies, and uh, we consider it a, a duty and a privilege to inform the patients about what, what we're working on and, and what studies um, they, they may be able to participate in and help us advance the field. Along the way, there's been a lot of technological developments in electrophysiology that allow us to do some really amazing things and really help people in great ways. Um, I, I love the ability that I can see a patient who is 14 years old or I can see a patient who's 100 years old and I can see them in the same clinic day. At the same time, I can help people in different ways. I can use get medications um, to try and help them, or I can use my hands with procedures to try and help them and make them feel better. And I love doing that. Each and every day, I love doing that. Yeah. There's no way you can do anything on your own here. With the, uh, the practice of medicine, is the uh, just complicated patients that we see here and that we are seeing everywhere, everything requires a team approach. Um, so whether that's with me and my other electrophysiology colleagues, whether that's with our congenital heart disease doctors team. We spend a lot of time also working with our heart failure uh, uh, doctors here. We work with our structural uh, people who do procedures. We work with our interventional cardiologists. Uh, we work with our general cardiologists. We work with our cardiac surgeons. Everyone is a part of our team because we all share patients together. 